Hey, it's Julie. And Pete. Uh, we are paramedics, and we're here at Spencer's booth talking about... The wow. I'm definitely. <laughs> You're wowed. I'm wowed. I, I was. <laughs> I wasn't too sure of it until I really got to use it. So what is this? It looks like a transfer sheet. It does. Um, so it's a cross between a transfer sheet and another device. So like an evacuation device. Yeah. Oh. So you can. The, the only person you're not going to use this on is somebody with like a spinal injury. Okay. So the the wow weighs um, ten and a half pounds. So you can roll it up pretty small. It can carry someone that's up to 330 pounds, right? That's yeah. pretty great. So it's 330 pounds. It has a bunch of handles all over it. I see there's quite a few handles on this side. So you don't need any fancy features for their no. feet to so not slide out. The cool out. thing is, is, like, you know, with that other thing, like we have to do some kind of tie so that their feet don't come out huh. and stuff. So they put, they made this thing a little bit longer. So you put the person in, you put their feet in, and then this this keeps them from from coming out the bottom. Nice. So if they're really tall, you can go here, here. Um, I tried this on my kid, and she's you know she's you know, tall. She is. She's tiny. She's pretty small. So we just brought this up, and it clipped up there. Oh. Um, if you forget how to use it, or you don't like directions. Oh, it shows yeah. you how to use it. It's just normal. Like when you're gonna wipe it off. It's not yeah. just like regular stuff. So. So this is a non-pore surface, right? Oh, well, this... they, yeah, non-porous. So yep. you can wash this off with soap and water? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So the biggest thing that everybody's asked about are these straps. Yeah, these are definitely different for a, like a transfer sheet. I've yeah. never seen anything like yep. this. So what you do is you put the strap over your shoulder. So it'll be over your shoulder on whatever your strong side is. And then you would adjust it with your partner. So there's a bunch of different adjustments. You might yeah. have to, the one thing, remember when we tried this, we had to lift them a little bit to make sure that the weight was balanced. Yeah, so if I'm taller or shorter than my partner, I can just adjust along this yeah. so that the weight is evenly yep. distributed. And then you would grab, you know, a handle where you would feel that the weight is balanced. So it could be okay. that one or the bottom one or something. What are these handles? So these handles, you know, it's always good to hug yourself. <laughs> so one of the things that people like to do when you carry them, as you know, oh, they like they to grab out. out. Yeah. So uh, this, you know, you can either have them cross or they can hold it on, hold on for dear life that way. Yeah. Um, so then we'll go up to the top here. So another interesting thing is, I is saw, they, uh, yeah. they have these. Ski poles? No, they're not ski poles, <laughs> Julianne. So what these do is these slide in here in these pockets. So you have two pockets here and you slide them in. Huh. Yeah. So these all collapse, so it's super easy, and you, you store inside of it. So what is this doing? So this gives the back, here, put the other one in while we're here. So this gives the whole device a little bit more rigidity, and it doesn't, you know, paper bag the person, or plastic bag the person when you pick them up, so it doesn't squish them. Oh, so it's almost like a hard A surface. hard hammock, yeah. yeah. So, and another thing, if you remember when we were doing this, we found that if you put them in further, the further you push these in, you can get like a cup here. So if you have to tip the person this way, it could keep them in. So that was neat when you could adjust, and they go pretty deep. So they go all the way down hmm. and stuff. And it has those handles. Um, pull it back out. Oh, what was that other neat thing that he showed us? So you can turn this into a chair. So like, let's say you're bringing somebody out, right? And yep. you have to sit them up for a second to get them through a, a place. You can make this into almost like a seat to pull them out. That's right. Even, I guess, if you have a patient who needs to sit upright. I'll hold this up so you can do it. We'll show. Ah, this one. So these... That's what these red straps are for. I was wondering what they were for when we first got this. So you can do one or two or whatever you have, but that's what these red straps are for. And then it kind of keeps this. Like a seat. Like a seat almost. So you can keep them upright like that. So you might have to get somebody to come around with a tight doorway and stuff, so it definitely keeps it. Yeah, so you can actually like move them around. Yeah. That was one thing that was uh, noticeably different, is that in tight spaces, because this is so... It's not rigid on yeah, the bottom. so soft, you were able to yeah. kind of snake around. Yeah, yeah. and you don't need to use the poles. So the poles are nice, but if it's in a pinch, you, you know, you end up just grabbing somebody and throwing them on. You really need the poles, but the poles definitely help out. Well, how would I store something this long? 
We can just roll it up. So what the one way these? is just to roll it. Um, we're putting these away, right? Yeah, you I would guess? put them away. Oh, so they go, it even has its own carrying pouch. So you'd fold them ah. down and then you could put them in this neat pouch. I like this pouch because it's magnetic. It's not Velcro. Yeah. And yep. the cool thing about this, I think, is that if you had a patient where they needed to be upright a little more. Yeah, like a little more, pillow comfort. Yeah, like you want to put a pillow on them, but most of the time if you're doing a carrying device, that pillow just gets lost. Yeah. Really, this is a pretty amazing device. There's and really nowhere you can't use this. Yes, so. the sky is the limit. Yeah. You can use your imagination. Yep. Um, I mean, just, even the straps, like we talked about that they're on the side, but yeah. you can put them up on the top and, and pull a patient. Yeah. So you can like know? slide them off the bed yeah. and then, you know, get them in there. Um, and then you would just, so you would just flip them on the top. Do you clip them up there, Joel? Sure. That's it. I would just pull, or you could do that down at the yeah, feet. Yeah, the bottom, and you can maneuver everything, you know, through yeah. a tight space because there's there's a lot of bendiness. Another neat thing I forgot to talk about this before about the poles. So if you want to use the poles in somebody's bed, right? So like you have the person in bed, you could just feed them in as you get more room. Oh, so if you rolled this under your patient and they're like yeah, they're like down right already? against the door, right against the headboard, oh, and you want to okay. put that in, you could slide it That's in that smart. way. That's yeah. smart. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a pretty amazing product. There's a lot it's of cool things you can do with it. very innovative. Yep. So we'll just, uh, we'll show you how to put it away. Yeah. It's so, easy to put away. Don't forget your poles. You don't want to lose those. But again, if you lose them, you can get Yeah, them so again. anything you break or lose, you can replace at Spencer. So one of the things, I always like to put my equipment away, you know, the same way every time. So I like to put the straps in so everything's all together. Roll it all right, so now you got everything in here, right? Yep. So now, fold. we're gonna fold this side up first. Yeah, we'll grab that side. She's gonna half it. 